Well, fake mustaches, stolen identities, and even a tennis outfit. All of the classic elements for another spy movie, or maybe real life. The D Dubai police chief says he's certain that Israel was involved in the murder of a top Hamas leader. Now he wants the prime minister behind bars. A curious investigation with massive implications. Joining me to look into the details of this case is investigative journalist and RT contributor Wayne Madsen. Wayne, thanks so much for joining me. So, first of all, I want to ask you the suspects in this case were said to have gotten some prepaid credit cards from a uh, American Regional Bank. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, and we're finding out more details about this operation, oddly enough, from the Israeli press, very little from the American media, but the, uh, the bank uh, is MetaBank, which is headquartered in Storm Lake, uh, Iowa. The supplier of these prepaid MasterCards, and this is where you get the card and you load it up uh, with money and use it for retail purposes, is Payoneer out of New York. That is a startup U.S. Israeli company. And um, this company is headed up by a, a man named Yuval Tal, who's said to be a former member of the Israeli security services. Uh, we don't know whether it's Mossad or Shin Bet, but I would note that we know that three venture capital firms invested in Payoneer, uh, Greylock Partners, which has Greylock Israel based in Herzliya, uh, north of Tel Aviv, Carmel Ventures, and Carmel 2, the Carmel 2 Fund actually gets a lot of investment money from the California Employees Retirement System, CalPERS, and a third one, Crossbar Capital, based in New York, another venture, venture capital fund uh, that invests heavily in Israeli companies located in Herzliya. Herzliya, very important because that is the headquarters for Mossad. So I think the big question here is how did this happen? I mean, we hear about the war on terror all the time. We have the Department of Homeland Security, the FBI, the CIA, all trying to, you know, follow what's going on here in this country. How did no one catch this? How did no one think that this was suspicious, uh, these prepaid credit cards going abroad? Well, it seems like the American system to track suspicious money flows failed uh, in sort of a chain reaction. What we know is that the cards were not purchased in a retail uh, through a retail outlet at uh, MetaBank. They were uh, procured uh, through something called an employment payment program. Now, what employees, employee, employees got these cards, we, we still don't know. But uh, certain things like the Office of Foreign Assets Control, OFAC, Treasury Department, is supposed to look at these with uh, uh, the banks are supposed to file what's known as a suspicious activity report. That was not done. Uh, the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN, run by the Treasury Department, did not pick up on this. And uh, a lot of people are asking questions because had this been Islamic banking through a hawala, uh, guaranteed that there would have been uh, suspicions raised and uh, actions would have been taken. But in this case, we see absolutely nothing uh, coming from uh, the United States government, from the Treasury Department, from U.S. intelligence agencies, and from the FBI, which operates the Interpol uh, National Central Bureau here. And we do know that Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, has issued an Interpol uh, red notice, arrest warrant for all these individuals, two of whom we know entered the United States on false passports after the assassination of this uh, Palestinian uh, official in uh, Dubai. And, you know, obviously the Dubai police chief has asked the FBI to investigate what went on. Uh, what do you think is likely going to come out of that? And is there a chance the United States actually knew about what was going on, just kind of turned its head? Well, it's one of two things. It's either that the system to track suspicious money uh, transactions failed or the, the, it was picked up and nothing was done about it. In either case, it shows we got a real problem with American law enforcement in uh, tracking uh, these, uh, these, these uh, types of uh, operations. And uh, again, I think people are going to say, well, if it was a, a Muslim uh, type operation, uh, the U.S. would have been all over it, Homeland Security, et cetera. But but when it, uh, it involves Israel and the Mossad, it's just uh, there's, the silence is deafening. Well, RT contributor Wayne Madsen, it'll be interesting to see how that FBI investigation pans out.